And so backstage, I meet this very inspiring man who voted for the first time in 2008. And he is so, he's from Nigeria. And he is so excited to get a chance to cast his vote again. I wanted to preface him, although I say I'd like to dissolve all labels, I tried to label him. I took a tangent and I tried to find out, I said, well, what religion are you? And he says he likes to go to the church. He said, but he likes to go to the synagogue and he enjoys visiting the mosque. He is a true American. Please welcome Ibrahim Salal. I'm so fired up and ready to go. You feel me? My name is Abraham Salah, and I voted for the first time in November 2008. I was raised in Nigeria, where I got my first degree in Bachelor of Science Engineering. When I was in school, I had to give a big presentation, and I chose to do mine in the U.S. system of government. Pursuing my degree led me uh, to the U.S. in 1994, where I needed to make an academic presentation at a conference. There, I met a professor who eventually invited me to work with him at West Virginia University. My family and I moved to America, and that was the beginning of the pursuit of my American dream. Since then, I have lived and worked around the country until recently settling in Connecticut. I strive to live by the rules in the hopes of one day becoming an American citizen. My dream came true in February of 2008 and I became a citizen. At first, I registered as unaffiliated. And when I was eligible to vote for the first time in November of 08, I went with a friend who doesn't normally vote to the polls. And we cast our vote for Barack Obama for president. During the past two years, while the Democrats have been working hard, doing everything they could to make sure the economy gets back on track, the Republicans decided to not participate in cleaning up the mess they created. Since Obama's inauguration, I watched how the Democrats worked had to pass the historic health insurance reform, the Wall Street reform, students' loan reform, and each time the Republicans say no. All I keep hearing from the folks on the other side is no, 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 and no. And the Democrats have been working for the middle class. Because of health care insurance reform, millions of Americans will have access to quality, affordable health care. A 
And because of Wall Street reforms, Americans will no longer have to be victims of Wall Street's excessive risk taking. I'm sad to tell you that the Republicans want to take us backward. Why President Obama and Democrats want to keep us moving, moving the country forward. That is why I am now a proud Democrat. And that is why we need to elect strong democratic leaders this year. And that is why you need to vote on Tuesday. Because together, we will move the country forward. Thank you, and God bless America.